Whether you have adopted one into your family, or are simply love watching YouTube videos of these fantastic beasts, you might want to know more about this fascinating breed. We'll also show you a little about their behavior, how they interact with their environment and why they are such heroic dogs. Watch this video until the end to learn 10 things you didn't know about the Siberian Husky. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more pet-related content. Liking and sharing our content helps massively with the growth of our channel. So it's very much appreciated. 1. They are close to being wolves. You can tell by looking at them that they closely resemble this wild counterpart. You see it in their pointed ears, penetrating eyes and pronounced snout. We should point out, however, that dogs are unlikely to have derived from wolves. According to a 2014 study, it is likely they both came from a common ancestor. Somewhere between 9,000 and 34,000 years ago, too, they can have two different colored eyes. Owing to a benign genetic condition known as heterochromia, Siberian Huskies can often be found with two different colored eyes. This is a hereditary trait which gives them an incredible look. Especially as one of these eyes is usually an incredible blue color. This occurs in other animals and is also a trait found in humans. 3. They can adapt to any environment. This is a dog that can adapt without problem to cold and icy climates. Its thick fur is a testimony to their endurance in the country of their namesake. The husky sheds its coat twice a year, once between spring and summer, and another between autumn and winter. If you see your husky losing a lot of hair very quickly, especially if not during shedding season, then it is advisable you take them to the vet to rule out an underlying health problem. 4. Their vocalization ability is unique. The Husky is an especially talkative dog with the ability to emit an incredible range of sounds. Their howling is particularly noticeable as it can be heard up to 15 kilometers away. Some Huskies even seem to sing, whine or even talk, although it is very uncommon for them to bark. 5. Huskies are one of the oldest dogs in the world. The Husky was raised by the Chukchi tribe in northern Siberia, a people located close to the Eskimo people. Although these dogs fulfilled certain work-related functions, such as pulling sledges, they were also very important members of the community. They would sleep in the same bed as women and children, for both warmth and protection against intruders and wild animals. 6. The Snow Dog. It's no secret that Huskies love snow. Virtually all individual Siberians have some interest in it, undoubtedly due to the important part it played in their heritage. Perhaps it is for similar reasons they are so attracted to water and falling leaves in autumn. 7. Huskies were born to run. Alongside the Chukchi tribe, the Husky worked as sled dogs. They carried food and supplies from one place to another. But, contrary to popular belief, they were not often used to transport people in these early days. 8. They fit with different types of family. They are undoubtedly an excellent playmate for children, a great member of any hiking team and a sensitive and intelligent dog on a daily basis. Its character is unique and can vary. It is important you keep this dog mentally stimulated and offer virus forms of entertainment to ensure they don't grow bored. 9. Is the Husky a war dog? If we think of war dogs, the first breed which comes to mind may be the German Shepherd. They were used as a messenger, rescue dog and even as mine detectors. However, the Siberian Husky stands out as a heroic dog employed during War World II, as it carried out many transport and communication tasks. 10. Balto. An unprecedented hero. The story begins in 1925 when a large number of children in the village of Nome, Alaska, contracted diphtheria, faced with the impossibility of being brought to the medicine, a group of men and their dogs decided to undertake the dangerous journey to save the lives of the town's children. Some men and dogs died, including guide dogs. Balto, however, was the one who took charge of the race and, despite not having any previous experience in the role, became the pack leader. The dogs were hailed as heroes and appeared in newspaper stories across the country, 